thought we just made the gas. Two weeks fundraising in the Hamptons. Oh, in California, too. <clears throat> she went right back to hitting Donald Trump. The United States is an exceptional nation. My opponent in this race has said very clearly that he thinks American exceptionalism is insulting to the rest of the world. It doesn't mean that people from other places don't feel deep national pride. It means that we recognize America's unique and unparalleled ability to be a force for peace and progress, a champion for freedom and opportunity. Oh, Kidoki, but it has still been 270 days since Clinton has held a press conference. Perhaps it's because she's out of excuses about her emails. The FBI successfully recovered nearly 15,000 previously deleted messages from her private server. And we just learned that at least 30 of them contain material related to Benghazi. All right, Greg. Mm -hmm. um, even the LA Times has noticed that Hillary Clinton is not out there doing press conferences. I mean, it's not just us now keeping track of how many days it has been since she did that whole wipe the server clean thing. Uh, LA Times Hillary Clinton's overdue for a freewheeling news conference submitting to questions from a diverse group of reporters is a way to demonstrate accountability to the public. Mm. The less you see of her, the better. Uh, she was still sending classified <coughs> after information after leaving office. She is the national security version of Anthony Weiner. She <laughs> cannot help but expose herself using national uh, our our security. Oh, sure. But but also when she talks about I'm when she hot. talks about ex exceptionalism, this is what kind of drives me nuts because she's not running against Obama. She's running against Trump. He was the one who was anti-exceptionalism. And for the left, patriotism, it's like a Halloween costume. One day a year, they dress up like Uncle Sam. But for the rest of the year-round thing, it's never it's never around. For the rest of us, we generally think that way all along. And But she can't. Because as a liberal, exceptionalism is the, is the profound opposite of what they believe in. They believe that America is the problem. Hmm. Eric? Agree with Greg 100%. Uh, President Obama, uh, first foreign policy speech was at the University of uh, Egypt in Cairo saying America is not exceptional. So hit, hitting Trump, no, she was actually hitting Obama on that one. Number two, presser, they asked uh, the, the, the campaign, and the campaign said, yeah, press conference coming soon. Soon, 207. We're almost a year now. And number three, those 30 emails that show, show a, additional top secret uh, being sent uh, over Hillary Clinton's server. She said those are probably duplicates. Well, they may or may not be duplicates. I think the State Department is not sure they're duplicates yet. So they're, they, that's unclear right now. I don't, I don't blame her for not doing a press conference, KG. I mean, she's out in the Hamptons. I think we have video. There's Andy Cohen. You know, I mean, <clears throat> she's got uh, Paul McCartney. You know, all kinds of people yeah, out there the raising money. And the she's, she's rich. She's fabulous. How dare she go to the Hamptons? Um, she's, well, I mean, she's very exclusive. <laughs> How I mean, many people own houses at Fox in the Hamptons? <laughs> raise their hand. <laughs> Let me just say, I thought she gave a great speech to the American Legion, just terrific. And the best part of it was she spoke about the raid on bin Laden's compound and the actions of the SEALs as really representing American values because they didn't kill the relatives, they didn't kill the women or the children. And this is something Donald Trump has said, oh yeah, kill the family. We don't care. You know what? We do care. Oh, and, and, that, and that was just, that was, just, that was that one, speaking about <clears throat> how <laughs> the military is used, the military is used for legitimate purposes. And she huh? spoke about his temperament and suggested that, you know what? I'm not going to send our young men and women into harm's way because I'm having an email or Twitter war. It would have to be a real reason. That, I think, speaks to people in terms of changing minds. Yeah, about, but wasn't, didn't she vote for every single war temperate. we got into? Wasn't she in favor of every right. war we got into? No, listen. And there are those uh, that think she's going to Oh, she's going to Oh, but oh, well, that must mean that Trump was opposed no, no, to going no, 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 into Iraq. Oh, 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 I forgot. Oh, oh I forget. That's more devil's speech from Trump. She said she won't send our kids into military fights 
Not uh, necessarily, but no, 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 what she said on Twitter, Twitter that you would disagree with also some of these wars. I certainly would, but what she's saying is... I don't think you're going to change hearts and minds making people afraid of Twitter. I've lost control of this segment, so I'm going to go to a commercial. After his big meeting with the Mexican president today, Trump is giving a huge immigration speech tonight. Our advice for him is coming up, but first... Hillary Clinton's successor at the State Department has a very novel idea on how the media can help wipe away terror. Shh, don't tell anyone about it. John Kerry, in his own words, next. Down, down, down.